Hi everyone, I am Srikant. We are discussing programming in C language. The topic is about basics of C programming language. The today's agenda of the session is about C tokens and suitable examples. C tokens majorly categorized by keywords, identifiers, variables, data types, constants, strings, special symbols and operators. In this session, we'll discuss in detail about what is C token and also we'll discuss what are the various keywords supported by C programming language. A token is the smallest unit in a C program. Tokens are basic building blocks of C programming. The compiler breaks a program into the smallest possible units or nothing but tokens and proceeds to the various stages of the compilation. See, tokens are nothing but simply remember in a C programming, the smallest individual units are known as C tokens. Tokens are basic building blocks of C programming. In the one of the token is called keywords. C programs are constructed from a set of reserved words which provide control and from libraries which perform special functions. Keywords are nothing but reserved words. Every programming language consists its own keywords or reserved words. Like C89 has 32 reserved words, also known as keywords, which are the words that cannot be used for any purpose other than those for which they are predefined. Every keyword, every reserved word has some specific meaning and functionality. We must utilize that keyword for particular purpose only. Most of the recently reserved words begin with an underscore followed by a capital letter because identifiers of that form were previously reserved by the C standard for use only by implementations. The basic properties of keywords like C89 keywords are represented in lower case. It has 32 reserved words. All these 32 keywords must be declared in a lower case. The keywords are also called reserved words. Every keyword has a specific meaning. User cannot change that meaning. Every keyword in C programming language represents something or specifies some kind of action to be performed by the compiler. Keywords are the words whose meaning has already been explained to the C compiler and their meanings cannot be changed. Keywords serves as basic building blocks for program statements. Keywords can be used only for their intended purpose. Keywords cannot be used as user defined variables or identifiers. See, keywords are reserved words. According to C89, it consists 32 keywords that must be represented as a lower case, like auto keyword, break, case, care, const, continue, default, to do, double, else, enum, extend, float, for, go to, if, int, long, register, written, short, signed, size of, static, struct, switch, typed, f, union, unsigned, wide, volatile, while, like 32 keywords, C89 suppose 32 keywords that should be represented in a small case only. According to C99 reserved words, they are added five more words like underscore bool, underscore complex, underscore imaginary, inline and restrict. C11 reserves seven more words like align, align as, align of, atomic, underscore generic, no, no return, underscore no return, underscore static, underscore asset, underscore thread, underscore local. See, the latest versions are going to be released with what? These keywords are uh, started with what? Underscore, some keywords started with capital. But according to C89, these 32 keywords must be represented as lower case only. These keywords commonly used in the areas in the program development like data types. Some keywords are used in data types as a data types like int keywords, char keywords, float, double, signed, unsigned, short, long. These are all keywords are used for what? Data types in C programming. Some keywords are used in 
user defined types like type def enum struct union these are all used as an a user defined types some keywords are used in storage classes like auto keyword register keyword static keyword extern keyword some keywords are used in looping or iteration statements in c programming like while loop do while loop for loop some keywords are used as conditional statements and decisions like selection statements example keywords like if keyword else keyword switch keyword case keyword default keywords some keywords are used in jump statements like go to keyword continue keyword and break keyword see generally these loop decisions and jump statements are nothing but what flow controls of c programming language all these keywords are used as a flow controls of c programming language some keywords are used in function like void keyword and return keyword some other keywords like const keyword volatile keyword and size of keyword see these are all the various c89 standard 32 keywords are using in various parts of c programming concepts we'll discuss one by one int int is a keyword is used to declare integer type variables int keywords are used to declare what integer type variables example like int count we can assign any numerical values then we go with what integral types like int count equals to 10 20 30 like that char char is a keyword it declares a character variable like char any kind of character variables if you want to notify like char a or i want to do i want to declare any kind of characters like b see must be enclosed with what single quote any characters or numbers must be enclosed with what single quote that become what character type i want to represent some symbol yes you can represent but that become what character enclosed with what single quotes this is about character type okay used as a data type in c programming language next float float are used for declaring floating type variables example like float number equals to 10.25 20 20.75 like that we can use floating type of values represented by float data type double doubles are also used for declaring floating type variables the difference between float and double type is size a float occupies 4 bytes of memory double occupies 8 bytes of memory so double long floating point variables we can able to represent long numbers short comma long comma signed and unsigned keywords see these keywords are type modifiers that alter the meaning of a base data type to yield a new type like short int small integer long int big integer signed int normal integer unsigned int positive integers see all these keywords are used for what in specially used in the data types like int type character type float type double type short type long type signed and unsigned keywords these keywords are used in data types in c programming language we'll discuss all these keywords in detail in the data type concepts including size as format specifiers with example programs next keyword is called type def type def keyword is used to explicitly associate a type with an identifier so it is used to create an additional name alias for another data type type def type declaration is a syntax used to assign alternative names to existing data types like type def existing name and alias name example like type def unsigned long the name of the variable is called u long assume so every time not required to write unsigned long u long see just you can give the additional name for the u long called i comma j you can use this i and j throughout the program as a unsigned long type similarly you go with the type def float unit say so i am going to be taking unit as a, a floating point type for different variables like f1 f2 and so on so in this manner we can use type def keyword is used to explicitly associating a type with an particular identifier used as a user defined identifiers enum enumeration types are declared in c programming using a keyword enum keyword it consists of integral constants group of integral constants are represented using enum keyword in the c programming language like enum enum name constant one constant two so on constant n so this is a example so we'll discuss through example program with the explanation and execution in the coming sessions okay struct struct is a keyword is used for what declaring a struct 
structure hey structure can hold variables of different types under a single name here structure is a user defined type it consists what group of different types of elements allocating in a contiguous memory allocation see this is a general syntax for what struct keyword struct structure name here we can represent different data types like data type member 1 data type member 2 so on data type member n example like struct student 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 is an entity student consists different types of attributes like id or properties like id hall ticket number name marks mobile number email id date of birth like n number of properties are there with different types same or different types i want enclose same or different types of elements in a contiguous allocations then we go with what struct struct is a keyword is used to for grouping different types of elements as a single object or single entities like s1 s2 like that normally we can call it is structured variables okay union union is a keyword it is used for grouping different types of variables under a single name it is similar to structure the difference is that structure allocates memory each type separate memory allocations but union allocates only one major memory location our maximum memory allocation for only one type it going to be reuses all the remaining data types in the same memory location only so that is the difference between structure and a union see this is a simple representation of what union see we will discuss in detail structured and union programs with examples and differences in the coming video sessions auto auto is a keyword it declares what automatic variables in the programming example like auto int var1 so if you are not declaring auto also by default any type declared within a program that becomes what automatic variables auto is a storage class variables declared within a function bodies are automatic by default they are recreated each time a function is executed like auto is a storage class it stores in the ram random access memory in main memory default value is what garbage value the scope is local local to the particular blocks or functions lifetime within a function function it going to be available only within a function once the cursor come out of the function this variable is not available the scope of variable within a function body or within a block register register is a keyword register is a storage class it creates register variables which are much faster than normal variables register int var1 these is storage class allocated a memory in what registers the default value is again garbage value the scope is local lifetime again within a block or within a function body okay once the cursor come out of the block or function body the scope of the variable is not available so that type of variable is called register the difference between automatic and register auto, auto variables are automatic variables are stored into the main memory registers are going to be allocated in a registered memory register memory next type is static static is a keyword static is used in storage classes sys it creates a static variable the value of the static variable persists until the end of the program the storage class is static allocated memory in the main memory ram random access memory default value is allocated zero but automatic is default value is garbage value the scope is local but whatever the changes are made in within a block or function body that is available for the that change is going to be reflected to the next functionality or next calling functionality but it is not affected in what automatic variables till the end of the main program retains value between multiple function calls but automatic variable that is not possible every time it creates it recreates every time it recreates in the automatic variable but in static it maintains the state of that value of the previous static variable see that is the difference between what automatic and static but no issue we'll discuss programmatically i am going to be showing in the coming sessions about these keywords with an example programs okay extern extern is a keyword extern used in what as a storage classes it declares that a variable or a function has external linkage outside of the file it is declared extern data definition extern function prototype like extern is a keyword once we declared extern to the any type that is become what 
global variables by default these global variables are going to be what external variables so generally i want to share these data type variables across the multiple files different types of c programming files that time we use what extern keyword so extern becomes a storage class allocated in a main memory like ram random access memory the default value allocated zero the scope of the variable is global we can access this variable anywhere and different files also till the end of the main program may be declared anywhere in the program so that is about extern keyword see generally these storage classes are used these four keywords like auto keyword register keyword static keyword and extern keyword coming to the looping looping topics are iterations concepts in c programming we are using a while keyword while is a keyword while keyword is used in looping statements in c programming language so it is to be used in the scenario where we do not know the number of iterations in advance the block of statement is executed in the while loop until the condition specified in the while loop is satisfied it is also called pre tested loop so while is a keyword while keyword is used in what looping or iterations in the c programming language the while is beha behaves like a pre tested loop first checks the condition or test the condition as a expression if condition is valid then only controller allows to the while block if condition is false or test false then simply terminates the while block it executes next statement of what c programming here i given simple example but don't worry about these examples we'll discuss in detail in the next coming sessions but i can give some explanation here assume I assign some value i equals to 0 as an integral type while i less than or equals to 10 0 less than or equals to 10 condition is true here expression is checks only condition true or false zero less than 10 condition is true then controller enters to the while loop block it prints i value as a zero then i value incremented i value become what one again one less than 10 it's keep on executing this statements until unless condition become false this type of statements or blocks are called looping statements in c programming while is a keyword while is used in looping see the i value becomes what 9 it going to be prints 9 i is again incremented 10 10 less than 10 condition false then it terminates the while it executes the next statement of c programming next do do is a keyword do also used in loop statements in c programming it continues until a given condition satisfies it is also called post tested loop it is used when it is necessary to execute the loop at least once see while is a pre tested loop but do while is what post tested loop in the do block once executes even condition is true or false if test fails or true no issue first block or first iteration it executes do do statements is executed from the second iteration onwards or second loop second time loops onwards it going to be checks the condition at bottom of the do called while while expression here test the condition if condition is satisfies then only it continues the do block if condition is false it terminates and it executes next statement of c programming the same example i written here without checking any condition once the cursor enters into the do block it executes the statement of do block like i value 0 is executed i value incremented also happen next iteration on was checking the condition at bottom of the do called while while i less than 10 one less than 10 condition is true then only it executes the do block like it going to be keep on executing how many times it executes until condition become false like 10 less than 10 condition false then it terminates the loop so do is a keyword it is also used in what loops in the c programming language next for for is a keyword see for is also used in looping statements in c programming it is also called as a pre tested loop it is better to use for loop if the number of iterations is known in advance so in while we don't know how many iterations are going on that time we are using while but in case of for loop must be used when we know exactly how many number of iterations is happening then only we can use what for loop another advantage for loop 
so in case of while and do while we must declare in one statement initialization is done in another statement checking the condition in another statement performing increment decrement in another statement like it going to be performs or it includes number of statement to execute particular loop instead of writing number of statements for provides in a single statement we can enclosed three different expressions like the first expression as a initialization supported in a c language but if you go with the c++ java dot net it allows here as a first expression as a declaration and initialization but c must be declaration part done at the initial of the main function only the second part is execution part see in c declaration should be first part of the main function okay the for allows only here expression as initialization so if once initialization is done the second part checks the condition in the same statement in a single statement only checking the condition if condition is valid it executes the for loop if condition is false simply terminates the for block and it executes next statement of the c programming once condition is valid it executes the for block after that it performs increment and a decrement operation the simple example are given here see in the previous example we declared we initialized i value declared in one area and initial is the somewhere and performing the operations the different statements but coming to for loop the initialization checking the condition and executing the statement and incrementing and decrementing so in this manner we can execute what for loop the main advantage for using for loop the single statement it allows initialization checking the condition performing increment and decrement operations so this is the advantage for using what for loop comparing to while and do while see these three keywords while keyword do keyword and for keywords are used for what loops or iterations in the c programming language next i want to check the conditions then we go with the if keyword if is a keyword used for checking a condition only one condition we are going to be checking at a time if expression here checking the condition or test if test is true then it executes the if true block if test is false it won't execute any block of statement any if block of statement simply it terminates if block it executes next statement of c programming here if is a keyword if is used in conditional statements in c programming it checks the condition only one condition at a time i want to check the condition any number of times then we must depend upon what looping statements example like a equals to 10 i am checking whether the given number is even number or odd number if a modulus of 2 equals to 0 10 modulus of 2 10 divided by 2 remainder become what 0 when the condition is true it prints percentile d is an even number otherwise it simply terminates the block it prints what only next statement called thank you srikant so in this manner it going to be prints 10 is an even number thank you srikant according to value a is equals to 10 suppose i given a equals to 11 it want to print if a statement block or if value if a statement cannot be printed because condition false 11 modulus of 2 not equals equals to equals 0 not satisfies then it prints simply terminates the if block it executes next statement called thank you srikant so that is about if keyword next one else else is a keyword see else is also used for what conditional statements so when we are using else else specifically we are not using it going to be follows what if condition see if expression if condition is true it executes if block of statements like code to be executed if condition is true otherwise simply controller executes what else block when condition is false in if statement automatically controller executes what else block of statement this else block when it going to be executes it must be followed by if condition and it going to be executed when when if condition false if it test false then automatically it executes else block the controller automatically executes else block of statements like codes to be executed if condition is false example like a equals to 11 see a equals to 11 11 modulus of 2 equals to equals 0 false then controller automatically executes what else statement what is the value it going to be prints percentile d is an odd number 11 is an odd number here percentile d is nothing but format specifier of the particular variable a so 11 is an odd number and it prints next statement called thank you strikant as it is so another keywords like switch case default 
these three keywords are specially used in what selection statements in c programming like a switch cases switch and case statements is used when a block of statements has to be executed among many blocks best example like switch expression here expression become choice c supports these expressions as a character types or integral types only like case one here i represented as a character type when this choice matches as a case one character then it executes the case one statements and break that case statements suppose if the choice is given case five then it executes case if i statements and break that statements here break is a keyword it going to be breaks the switch block so if the choice is not matching with any cases then it executes what default statement only one default statement in the particular switch block these statements when executes when expression is not matching with any case that time this default statements going to be executed okay no issue i will explain with the complete syntax example program with compilation and execution with output okay in the coming sessions about switch statements okay here we are using switch case defaults are the keywords using in what selection statements or switch statements next go to go to is a keyword go to is a unstructured programming language go to is used in what unstructured programming language see also suppose go to keyword but the next high level languages these go to keywords are completely eliminated because of unstructured behavior the go to statement is used to transfer the control of the program to the specified label go to keyword is needed for the transfer of control from one position to another position this go to control can flow either in a uh, upward direction or bottom direction or anywhere in the particular loop or anywhere it going to be uh, flows further say go to be is like what unstructured programming language but the next languages high level languages these go to keywords are avoided completely okay continue continue is a keyword this continuous statements skips the statement after it inserts the loop of the iteration so example i written here one loop i want to skip some value in between like i want to print the numbers between 1 to 10 1 to 10 but i want to skip some value i equals to 3 when i value becomes 3 that time we can continue the iteration continue is a keyword continue behaves like a jump statements in c programming language simply it continues the iteration and it skips the particular block of statements so that is advantage for using what continue keyword break break is a keyword break is a jump statements this break statement terminates the innermost loop immediately when it's encountered it's also used to terminate the switch statements or block of statements that time we go with what break keyword so in this example the previous example it continues the iteration but in case of break when i value becomes seven when i equals to equals to seven then it breaks the loop means output comes only one to six only when i value seven it breaks this loop see so that is advantage for using break a keyword break is a keyword break is a jump statement which is used to break the particular block it come out controller is going to be come out from the block that is the advantage for using break a keyword so generally these go to keyword continue keyword and break a keyword these three keywords are used in the jump statements of the c programming language next void is a keyword void is a empty type it does not returns any value in the previous video session I explained in the main function syntax void is a default return type in the c programming language it means it does not return any value to the calling function okay see generally wide keyword is used in what functions concepts like wide name of the function and parameter of the function once you return wide it 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 is nothing but it does not returns any value not required to return explicitly any value to the particular function so that is advantage for using wide keyword next return return is a keyword the return keyword terminates the function and returns the value see return is used for exit the function it would exit from the current function that is executing immediately and return to the calling routine or calling function it can optionally return value to like return expression see return is a keyword it's going to be written single value to the calling function remember return is used in functions return is also terminates what the block of function i want to come out from the function then 
that time we can also use what return keyword sometimes return is also behaves like what jump statements because the once we used return keyword the controller is going to be come out from that particular functionality and it returns single value to the calling function see what is function how to declare user defined functions and built in functions everything we'll discuss in the next coming sessions don't worry about that next const const is a keyword an identifier can be declared constant by using the const keyword generally in c programming i want to declare constants then we go with this keyword const keyword int a equals to 5 it means constant value cannot change it volatile volatile is a keyword the volatile keyword is used for creating volatile objects a volatile object can be modified in an unspecified way by the hardware like const volatile number since number is a constant the program cannot change it however hardware can change it since it is a volatile object so that is the use of what volatile keywords next size of size of is a keyword the size of keyword evaluates the size of particular data type or a variable or a constant size of is used for returning the size of expression or type of it it is used for returning the size in bytes like size of type i want to know how much size occupies character types integral types floating types double types like that time we can use size of a keyword okay example like so i am going to be using here print type i want to know the size of character type then it going to be returns what one byte one byte of memory allocated by what character see that is advantage for using size of keyword so in this session we are discussed in detail about various c tokens see in c programming the smallest individual units are known as c tokens a c program consists of various tokens in the c programming but majorly we discuss like keywords identifiers constants string literals some special symbols operators comments like that we can able to categorize all these topics comes under what c tokens like we majorly we discussed about keywords identifiers constants variables data types special symbols like comments operators uh, literals these are all so special symbols all these comes under what keywords okay so in this session i discussed in detail about what is keyword like c89 standard keywords and representations and c99 and 11 c11 keywords okay and also we discussed c89 individual keywords with the meaning and advantage and specific usage in the c programming language so that's it for today's session thank you for watching my videos thank you all